I got the tea for today. Today, guys, I wanna to talk to you about three things you should try to master by the time you're 30 years old. The first thing we're gonna jump into is learn the art of detachment. So many people suffer from attachment issues. When you attach yourself to so many different things, you become emotionally entangled into whatever that subject is. So for instance, when I was making my move out of Michigan, I had to learn how to detach from my family, not to say I don't love my family, I love them dearly. They mean the world to me and I cherish them. But in order for me to prepare myself mentally for my new journey away from my family, I had to learn to detach. With detachment, you can still love someone, but you're able to navigate the world just knowing deep in your heart that they'll be okay. And so that was a big obstacle that I had to overcome in order for me to feel comfortable making this move. And so taking a look at the political landscape of the USA right now, you find that people People really get attached to their ideals. They get so invested in a particular person, party, whatever it may be. And next thing you know, you might have a disagreement with them and they get upset and they don't want to be friends with you anymore. And so if you're on the other side of the coin and you're like, what did I do wrong? Don't take it personal. A lot of the times, guys, it's just people so attached to what they think is right. And so if you learn the art of detachment early, then you won't feel the need to be so upset or feel with hatred for somebody that might disagree with you. And that goes for everybody, your kids, mother, father, your wife, husband, brother, sister. It doesn't matter, guys. When you learn how to detach from things, you feel more liberated. And granted, you're gonna feel moments where you're gonna miss. With learning detachment, one of the most difficult things for me was learning to understand what that exactly means. Does that mean that I don't love this person? No, you still love them, but it's just a matter of, you know when you navigate your own journey, they're gonna be okay. You're gonna invest more into yourself versus others. You're still personally, spiritually, emotionally invested into that individual or group of friends, family, whatever it may be, but you have mastered learning to be on your own, to depend on yourself, and to really trust in your own intuition. That was a very difficult time period in my life. I'm like, yo, what do I do without my family? But slowly and slowly, I started to be like, you know what, you're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. You have to trust that everything that you have been taught and teaching yourself that everything's gonna be fine. Your family, everything that they know, they're gonna be fine. You can always go to your family, your friends, for questions, for seeking solutions. They're gonna be there. But ultimately, you have to trust in yourself. That's what detachment means to me. When you learn the art of detachment, you don't feel the need to be explosively angry at something because it doesn't align itself with your ideals. You just kind of like, it's like a beautiful flower that you see in the field and you're like, I don't have to grab it. I just admire its beauty from afar and I just keep it going. That's the best picture I can give you guys. Every beautiful flower doesn't always have to be picked. Just admire it from afar. And the second thing I wanna talk to you guys about is control your tongue. The mind may be powerful, but the tongue is the mightiest. The words you speak come with effects. So if you tell yourself, I'm a failure, I'm not strong, I'm weak, I have no talent, then that's what you're gonna become. But on the flip side of the spectrum, if you tell yourself positive things, then that's what you'll become. The same thing goes for people around you. You have to be very careful on the words you speak. Consider this, you get in a disagreement with another person and you don't control your tongue. There's a Chinese proverb that says this. If you are patient in the moment of anger, you will avoid a hundred days of sorrow. That's why you have to learn to control your tongue. You ever say something to someone that you truly care about and you just can control yourself in that moment of anger and you're like, you know what? I should have never have said that. And then from that moment on, every interaction you have with that person doesn't feel the same because you said something that you should have never have said and vice versa for them. So learn to control your tongue in any situation that you're in. And even if you're in a business situation, you don't have to say everything that's on your mind. Learn to say least as possible because the less words you say, the more powerful your words are. And the very last one I want to talk to you guys about is understanding the importance of fitness and nutrition. Fitness and nutrition is extremely important. Take it from a guy that's in his 30s and I had to reevaluate my life. You guys have been following my channel for a while and you know that I'm in pretty good shape. I've been in shape for pretty much majority of my life. But there are certain things that I have to really change up. My understanding of things, for instance, the importance of mobility. I didn't realize how important mobility training was until I actually just 
had a lower back issue and I'm like, okay, do I just accept this as being 30 and up? Like, this just comes with the card. This is the card I was dealt with. That's not necessarily the case. What people don't stress enough is this, move your body. It doesn't mean just go to the gym, do bench press, squats, deadlifts, and do your accessory exercises, or just do your push-ups, pull-ups, and dips, and then call it. Mobility training has been the answer for a lot of my problems. And at this very point, I probably sound like one of those people on the TV that's just like, if you don't try this, it's changed my life. Like, I'm telling you, Mobility training has definitely changed my life. Understand there's dynamics to fitness. Being in shape is a great thing. Making sure your heart rate is stable and good. You have well-defined muscles. I mean, you look good, you feel good, but how are you moving? Do you feel stiff? Do you feel this nagging injury in your shoulder? You always feel like, man, I gotta always move my shoulder around before I do bench press. Those are tall tale signs your body's trying to tell you like, hey, you better fix these smaller muscles because Sooner or later, the bigger muscles are gonna fail. So I'm trying to let you know. Don't just understand fitness in one dynamic. Try to understand it in multiple dynamics. And that was the issue that I was having. I'm like, okay, I thought I was in really good shape. I guess I just have to accept this as being part of my age. And that's not the case, guys. When I say importance of fitness, look at fitness in its totality. Don't just work on your core exercises like, hey, I wanna be strong, I wanna look good. Look at movement as a whole. Movement is medicine. It's nothing better than being 30 years plus 40, 50 years, I'm sure, that you feel like you can move your body. And I take a lot of inspiration from guys that I see on social media that are like 60, 70 years plus and just doing muscle ups, making exercises look relatively easy and seeing 20, 30 year olds struggle. So that's very important that you understand the importance of fitness. And of course, nutrition. One of the biggest mistakes I used to make in my early 20s is Honey buns. Man, I was always eating honey buns because I was playing semi-pro ball and I'm like, hey, I gotta put on some weight. Not understanding the repercussions of eating honey buns. Granted, I still look good because I had a I have a fast metabolism, but the amount of sugar, the amount of taxation that is going on my body, and I'm like, hey, I'm good, I'm just gonna put on the weight. No, 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 no. You need to consider the importance of nutrition very early, earlier than me. And that's why I stress it to my kid, the importance of nutrition. Just because you have a fast metabolism in your 20s doesn't excuse your behavior of, I can eat whatever I want. It doesn't matter, guys. Take care of your gut because you're gonna get older. And these problems that you may not see surface now, they may surface later. And the food has changed drastically in the last 10 years. When I was in my 20s, even my teenager stage, the food didn't contain as many chemicals, at least it didn't really have as many chemicals as it does now. A lot of our food is sprayed with GMO pesticides. It's just really, really bad. And I think you're gonna see more and more people have digestive issues, psychological issues, because your digestive tract is inevitably connected to your brain. So there's a lot of factors that play a role in our overall vitality. So understanding the importance of nutrition, guys, make sure you guys, please, 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 Eat right. Moderation is key, but I don't want you to take moderation and eat Krispy Kreme donuts. No, 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 that's bad for you. Try to make sure you're getting your quality fruits and vegetables. If you're eating meat, quality meats, making sure you're getting adequate rest. Take time for your mental, your spiritual well-being, your emotional well-being. Don't have this mentality that I could take on the world. It's normal for young people to really feel that way. Even though I'm still young, and at times I may feel that way, but I understand that I'm gonna get older and I don't wanna have these issues later on in my life and I wanna be around for a while. Especially what I hope to have is grandkids. So fitness and nutrition is something you should aim to really lock down by the time you're 30 years old so that way you can age gracefully. Those are my three things I want you guys to try to master by the time you're 30 years old. And if you're past 30, still work on yourself. You can implement these tools I just talked about. Don't let your older age be the reason why you're stuck in your mentality. Remember, life is a process of continuous growth. If you guys enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. Most importantly, make sure you are properly subscribed. I'll see you guys next video. Peace and love as always. And I shade. Boom. We out, baby. Perfect.